Hi, my name is Richard Clark. I'm the writer of My Best Friend is a Secret Agent, and I'm here to read you Chapter 1. Chapter 1, A Confession. Super Secret Blog Number 2487, My Best Friend Chip is a Secret Agent. There, I've said it. Chip wasn't always a secret agent. I made him one. That's right, me, Nort McCracken. I did it using my super secret, super complicated micro thingy that is so super secret that I can't even tell you what it's called. Okay, maybe I'll tell you later. But I'm never going to tell Gert von Bruggen from science class. I'll tell you about her later, too. First, a little background. My dad's kind of famous. You might already know that, because you probably recognize my last name. He's Colonel Brock McCracken, head of McCracken Security Systems. Dad protects us from everything. That crazy oceanographer who wanted to put the whole city of Orkville underwater? Yep, Dad stopped him. That power man architect who wanted to turn Vortville upside down? Dad's elite team of commandos stopped him too. Dad used to be an actual colonel in the military, so he's real gung-ho about push-ups and crew cuts and getting up at 4 a.m. He's always wanted me to be just like him when I got older, going to boot camp and running 20 miles with a 200-pound backpack on and stuff. But I can barely carry a 5-pound backpack without breaking out in a sweat on the way to school. I'm actually the smallest kid at Vortville Middle School. That's partly because I skipped two grades since I'm really smart. I'm 10 years old and already in grade 6. But I'm just small, let's face it. But I've always wanted to make my dad proud of me, even though I knew I'd never be a soldier just like him. So I figured maybe I could use my super smartness to help him with his security business. Maybe I could show him how to fight crazy bad guys in a super cool, science sort of way. That's why I invented the CHIP, C-H-I-P, CHIP. That's the name of the super secret, super complicated micro thingy I mentioned earlier. Told you I'd tell you later. It stands for the Computerized Heroic Incredible Person. I know, that sounds stupid. That's why I shortened it to CHIP. Anyway, it's a little tiny microchip that attaches to one of your teeth, and it sends signals up to your brain to program you to be able to do anything. The thing is, there was no way I was going to try this on myself. Do you think I'm crazy? A chip sending signals to my brain? What if it made me freak out or something? No. I needed someone else to try it on. Someone like my best friend, Chip. Lester Chip Munson has been my best friend since kindergarten, mainly because nobody else wanted to be my friend. But Chip is the friendliest kid in the world. Everybody loves him. He's really big compared to other kids in our class, but that's probably because he got held back two grades. He's 14 years old and only in grade six. But he was the biggest kid in our whole school even before he got held back. But the main reason people like him is he'll do anything you ask him to. He'll eat a worm on the dare. He'll dive into a mud puddle with all his clothes on and with them off, too. He got his nickname Chip by chipping a tooth doing a crazy stunt like that. He'll even eat a whole apple, including the core. Yeah, a lot of crazy things he does involve eating. And yes, he even tried out my super secret, super powerful micro thingy for me. After all, what are friends for? Well, that's chapter one. See you tomorrow for chapter two.